Hey girls. Uh, hey Kestrel, how are you? Uh, there we go. Gonna come in here and check the hay at the far end of the orchard. See how much is left. Ah! Looks like, oh, huge buzzard. A huge buzzard has flown in and landed at the far end of the orchard. Oh, he's just flying out. Can't see it, I'm sure, through the trees. Me and my talking in the video. Well, the hay looks fine. It's all the way down there. So now for the next storm, Storm Jocelyn, who we're not gonna get the worst of the winds, but we're gonna get a lot of her rain. She's gonna do a whole load of rain uh, this afternoon. Well, today and this afternoon and tonight. So, isn't that right, pups? Okay, come on. We gotta go to the next job. All looking well for winter. Well, actually, we have to wait till they finish feeding and then herd them back up the laneway to close the gate. Yep, one trough empty. Java entering into the fray to pick up a few nibbly bits. I must feed my animals really good food because the dogs like the sheep food. Even Mustard, the cat, eats the sheep food. So, everybody likes my sheep food. Even my sheep like my sheep food. <laughs> no, Inca, we're not hurting them yet. They're still eating. Maya, leave it. Inca, 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 Maya, no, no, uh, no. No, leave it, leave it. They're still eating. That yo keeps being lame. Java, come back. Inca, leave it. You guys just behave, I know, I know. No, 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 you're not getting the, hurting the sheep yet. Actually, I might just leave them here, let them Take it easy and go up the lane when they want. Maya, Maya, come on, Java, come on. Good dogs, come on. Out of pups, good pups. Yeah, look what I just picked up. Beautiful blackbird. It was sitting there on the ground. It's still warm. Oh, poor bird. Okay, I don't know why it's there. I don't know what you ate or what killed you. It wasn't the cat, the cats weren't in the vicinity. The cats were inside the house. And it's still warm. It's only just, you can see its eyes are only just, oh dear, okay. I'm gonna throw it into the hedgerow and a fox can find it and have a meal. I don't wanna leave it out in the field because the dogs will take it. Okay, there we go. Ah, oh, listen to the, all the house sparrows. Okay. Horses are fine. Alpaca are fine. Everybody's staying in for the day. They've just had their breakfast and they're the last to clean up the last little bits. Okay, can you guys go in? Uh, come on. Atta girls. Come on. Good girls. Okay. 
I've got to go refill this hay feeder before the worst of the rain comes. Inca's always interested in hunting out for uh, white toothed shrews. They're the invasive species. Anyway, here, these single snowdrops, these I transplanted last year. So there's only going to be one flower here for this year. And then next year, hopefully, there'll be more. So these were only done last year. So you can see, I don't know if you can, there, 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 and there. Okay, over here, I've been transplanting snowdrops here for the last 20 years. Now the trick is that there are different snowdrops. In this whole area, there's loads more snowdrops that I planted that will be coming up. But these are the early snowdrops. And you see how I've inefficiently spread them. Kind of, they're kind of scattered about. So what I need to do is see where they are now and in the next few days dig some up and separate them and spread them out and that way I'll have more of a show for longer because like daffodils you have the earlies and you have the laters. So these are all the earlies that uh, Inca is lying amongst or sitting amongst. See they're beautiful early snowdrops so I could dig that clutch up and spread them where they're not. And like over here, I could dig up this clutch, like that one and that one and that one, and separate them out in this area where there are the later snowdrops. The later snowdrops, let's see, you can't even see them yet. They're not even coming up yet. But, oh, here you can see some of the, there they are. There are the later snowdrops. You see how much further behind they are than these. So before those other ones come up is when I want to separate these. So I can spread this area with all the later ones rather than, uh, you can see I've kind of been doing it here, but I want to do it a bit more. So this whole area um, where you see all the brown leaves, this whole area, there will be full of snowdrops because I started planting right in there easily 20 years ago. So I've been slowly spreading them out. So it's been a slow process. But now the trick is to take these out and spread them thinner. So then you have a longer snow drop season, or at least that's the plan. What are you doing sitting there? Silly pup. Hey, kitty. Yeah. And you can see here, those are snowdrops that I planted, um, oh, easily 20, 25 years ago. And I've been thinning those out and spreading them out. Those, some of those are the ones that were, that I was just showing you that are just right there. So it's all a process of time. And there you can see my friend Susan's um, uh, snowdrops are filling that embankment out slowly but surely. It's all a developing process. I'll try and make the edge of the road nice for everybody walking along the road sewing bluebells, columbine, all kinds of things. Daffodils, hellebores, but roadworks don't care. They just do it anyway. Plowed into my beautiful bed. And decades, I mean decades of work has gone into making this beautiful. Never mind. Here are hellebores. You can see these hellebores I planted as tiny babies. There's another one over here. Look, this hellebore, these hellebores were sown practically as tiny little babies and they're now flowering. All to make it look nice. 
but road works get to squish everything. This area has none of the early flowering snowdrops. So <laughs> I've dug up a few and I'm planting them. These are them. And I've got a puppy who's sheltering from the rain under me. <laughs> but basically what I do is I dig up these snowdrops. They come in a clump, let me show you. So there's a clump. So I dig up a clump and then before I plant them, I pick the flower and shake away everything else. And that is the plant I plant. Now there's two stems. So this one will flower, they'll both flower next year. So basically what I'm doing is taking the energy away from the production of the flower and returning it back into the bulb and the roots. Oh look, you're coming as well. See, whatever I do on the farm, I get feline and canine help. Isn't that right? So I've already planted a few. So I planted one there and one there. Next year, those will flower. And I planted one here. So I'm spreading them out so that this will become, this will have, it has the late flowering bulbs. I've been plant sowing them here for years, but they're not showing yet, only the early ones. So I'm planting these so I will lengthen the snowdrop season. Isn't that right, Kitty? Are you helping? And this is my favorite tool. This tool, I find where I want to do it. Clear the leaves away. Look at that big worm. Anyway, I go down with this wobble like that. Pull it out. Plop in the snowdrop and Bob's your uncle. There you go. And it's that quick and easy. So I'll transplant all of these before the rain really starts. These are such a beautiful one. They're really, really beautiful. I love the stripey inside. I don't know what these ones are called. I think these are all the same. Let's see. You can, the green of the bulbs on the inside is how you tell the difference between them. I'd say this is, they're all the same. Oh no, that one's different. That's definitely different. That's pretty. That's a pretty one. So these are three different clumps I've picked from varying areas. So I'm going to pick the flowers, which I then bring, they might be dumped in the bu bucket unceremoniously at the moment, but I bring them inside and I put them in a vase after I've planted all these and before the rain. And here are the snowdrops. They're in this little vase I got for Christmas. Anyway, there we go. They've come inside with me. As has the cat, who's fallen asleep on a sweater on the table. 